All right, folks, so uh, we dropped a different prop in, six by three EMP. We're on 4S again, or 4S now. Again, the B-Rotor 2207, 2780 kV motor. Let's give her a rip. So uh, amp-wise, this actually tested right about the same as the Emax motor, 48 amps at, uh, at full throttle. I would, uh, this is the second flight I've had on 4S. Uh, I would give maybe the slight speed advantage to the Emax uh, motor, but uh, you know, it still moves along uh, pretty nicely, can't complain. <laughs> Yeah, it just doesn't seem to, and I mean, we're only talking, you know, small percentages here. We're not talking that it's horrible. It just doesn't seem to be able to uh, wind the prop out quite as well, you know, with maximum power right to the end of the throttle range. I'm not sure, maybe because of the different size stator. Maybe the 2306 being a little wider, maybe produces a little bit more torque, I'm not sure. But, you know, for a $17 motor and a, you know, very, very popular uh, speed controller, the Turnigy Plus 40 amp, I can't complain. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> she was she was zigging and zagging fortunately she zigged away from me and not zagged into me there at the last minute holy cow that would have been ugly if i survived at least the walk of shame would have been short <laughs> Bring her back to earth here. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick check for uh, for heat buildup. And then, uh, you know, because everybody seems to like to have some 4S fun, I'm gonna swap to uh, a five inch three blade and give her another go. Ooh. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty toasty, about the same the same as the Emax, which you know you would expect. They're pulling about the same amount of amps. Speed controller's uh, pretty toasty, but uh, yeah. So there's uh, there it is with the six by three EMP. Like I would say, uh, although on the bench actually I think it produced uh, more thrust. Uh, you know this is an example that not every time uh, you know the numbers don't always relate directly to performance at the field. But so I'd probably still give the slight edge to the. Uh, Emax 2306, uh, pardon me, 2750 uh, with that prop. But uh, anyway, folks, we're going to uh, get a fresh battery, swap props, and uh, be right back. All right, folks, uh, as mentioned in the first part, I uh, got the Azure Power 5150 uh, three blade carbon prop and a fresh 4S battery. Let's give her. So this actually pulled uh, 40, only 44 amps at, uh, at full throttle on the bench. I don't know, I would say it's pretty darn close to the, to the 6x3 uh, EMP prop. I mean, you know, as, as John Wayne once said, you'd never, you wouldn't want to have to live on the difference. <laughs> you know, you're not quite the same acceleration as you have with, uh, you know, a two-bladed uh, 
a six by three low low pitch prop, but you know once she gets wound out, yeah, that's that's clipping along nicely. Again, I would have to say the the speed advantage goes to the uh, you know just again very slightly to the Emax. Um, I would say they're closer on 3S than on 4S and I would actually almost say that if I had to I would probably run this prop although you know I'm trying to set trying to determine these uh, these setups to you know to be a bit more uh, on a budget than you know maybe a GEP RC uh, Hobby Wing Platinum Pro <laughs> Nice and low, baby. <laughs> These flights don't last very long on 4S, but they're sure a lot of fun. <laughs> So let's see how we made out there with a slightly lower uh, amp draw. All right. Yeah, still, still pretty warm. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a, a huge difference. Just trying to look at the windings here. Uh, windings are all looking pretty good. I'm not seeing any discoloration or anything. So uh, I wasn't really, uh, when I tested this a couple of years ago, I wasn't really able to, pardon me, sort of find a definitive uh, amp limit. I, I would estimate it's around 40. So, uh, you know, we're pushing uh, just like we were with the Emax 2306. Uh, you know, I think we're pushing this motor uh, and speed controller to their limit but you know there's there hasn't been any issues uh you know touch touch wood no uh no skipping desyncing sag of power uh anything like that they just uh they just keep running strong so uh yeah so there we go folks uh i'm gonna do um uh, i think sort of a bit of a video now that i've tested uh one of the main reasons that i did this testing was you know a lot of people ask me because the turnigy plush uh is a very very popular uh, speed controller it's been around for a very very long time durable tough as nails so a lot of people ask me about what motors they could run quad motors they could run so you know I've tested my my budget value uh, motor the racer star 2406 2600 this one is a middle was rated a middle of the pack although high-end middle of the pack you know based on performance and price and then the Emax was sort of one in one of my top five recommendations. So I'm going to do a video, uh, just table talk video, just sort of discussing all of those uh, things and, you know, what, what sort of uh, setups, props, and that sort of stuff. So anyway, enough, uh, enough of my rambling. Please, as always, check the uh, comments down below or the video description below. I'll have lots of links down there. Uh, Blue Skies, uh, or thanks, thanks as always for watching. It's always appreciated. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.